Hello, my name is uh, Professor Francisco Gonzalez Lima. I'm from the University of Texas at Austin. Uh, my area of research is in uh, behavioral neuroscience. And uh, one of our primary goals is to use uh, transcranial lasers to stimulate uh, uh, cognitive brain functions. This is a new technology. Uh, we have been able to stimulate uh, sustained attention, uh, working memory, extinction memory, and uh, improve effective emotional states. Uh, this technique uh, is based on the principle that stimulating with a very low level uh, laser light in the near infrared wavelength is able to stimulate uh, bioenergetics inside neurons. In other words, uh, neurons are able to produce uh, more energy. So this is in a way when you stimulate with this light, you can have uh, a recharging of the energy available for neurons. And when neurons are challenged with a cognitive task, then they are able to show better performance. And uh, this process uh, was developed uh, using animal research. And the animal research showed that this was a feasible, uh, safe procedure to do. And then we took this uh, to humans uh, in translation work where human volunteers are exposed uh, stimulation in their forehead. The forehead uh, allows some of the light to go through, only a very small amount, about uh, 2%. And uh, this light uh, interacts then with the area of the brain that is called the prefrontal cortex. And it stimulates uh, prefrontal cortex activity in response to challenges. Uh, for example, to a vigilance task where you're trying to monitor uh, the activity that is going on or a working memory task where you're trying to match uh, different uh, stimuli as they're presented to you. And uh, in addition, to, uh, students, uh, when they go through a stress uh, over the semester, uh, if they were exposed to this uh, transcranial infrared uh, laser stimulation, they are able to cope uh, with this better. They show more positive, uh, effective states. So we hope uh, that this approach uh, can be used uh, for brain enhancement uh, in healthy individuals and uh, also in individuals who are having uh, a mild uh, cognitive impairment uh, before the onset of uh, dementia uh, has a treatment in general for uh, middle-aged uh, populations but also in younger uh, people who may have difficulties sustaining attention and in individuals that may have uh, risk factors, for example, cardiovascular risk factors that uh, do not facilitate blood flow to the brain. And this would be a way to stimulate uh, brain uh, blood flow and uh, behavioral responses. Well, thank you.